Hello everyone, myself Sabri and I welcome you to our channel Solution Bridge Network and one-stop solution for all your power platform tutorials. In today's video, we are going to understand how to export a specific page or a fully published Power BI dataset into a PDF via Power Automate. So this export will retain all the formattings, whatever you have done on the Power BI service. You can already see a Power BI report opened in my screen. I do have three pages where the page three is hidden. So page one has a table with two filters. Page two has a graph and this page has an additional filter country on the page level. So whenever a country is selected, you can see the header changes to sales data of that specific country. Let me set it to select all. And in the page three, it's a hidden page, which just denotes that this is a hidden page. Additionally, in this Power BI, I do have one role as a part of the role level security. I call the role name as VTT, which is nothing but a product in my data set. So whenever a person is added to this role, they will have privilege only to see the product VTT across all other countries. I have published this report to the Power BI service. If you see the data here, the location is fabric enabled and the name of the data set is sales data. So now let's go to the Power Automate flow and start creating our flow. I would like to create an instant cloud flow. Let me select the instant cloud flow and call the name of the flow as it's export Power BI pages to PDF and let's select the trigger as manually trigger a flow and click on create. Let me switch back to the old designer and start creating the flow. As a first step, what we need to add is the Power BI connector. So let me type in Power BI, select the Power BI connector, and we need to look out for an action, export. If you just type export, you will have two different options, export to file for a paginated report or export to file for a Power BI report. Now we are going to use the Power BI report concept. So let me select that. Once after you select that action, it is mandatory for you to specify the workspace and the report name. So let's click the drop down, select the workspace as fabric enabled, and now in the drop down, select the report as sales data. You can see the export format is predefined to PDF. I would like to keep it the same. There are additional formats as well. You can export it as PPTX, a PowerPoint file, or a PNG, an image file. There is an option here which says include hidden pages, and if you see the drop down, you have yes and no flag. By default, all the hidden pages will not be included in the export. Let me explain you all the additional options later. Now let me add in another step and I'll send an email. So let's use send an email v2 connector and then send this as an attachment to my email address. Let me select my email address. I'll say PDF export. Please find attached. I would like to call the name of the attachment as PDF export dot PDF. And the attachment content is a dynamic content that you need to select from export file, which is called as file content. Once you are done, you can save this and let's test the flow. I have initiated the flow. Now let's wait for the flow to get completed and let's check our email to understand how the PDF looks like. You can see that the flow ran successfully and the export to file for a Power BI report took 33 seconds to load. Now let me open my email and see if we have received the attachments in the PDF format. So the PDF export is the email, what we have received now. So let me open the email and look for the attachment. Yes, we do have an attachment. Let me select the attachment and open it in the preview mode to make sure we have all the pages that has been available in that report. So this is the first page. It's a table with filters. And if you scroll down, you will have the second page, like what you see it in the published data set. Let me close this. Go back to the Power Automate flow, edit the flow, and add additional components to that export to file connector. Here, if you want to include all the hidden pages, you can just say yes, so that hidden pages will also be included in the report. If you want to extract only a specific bookmark, you can give the bookmark name. 
please keep a note that the name whatever you're going to enter is case sensitive if you scroll down you have an option called report level filter so if you want to export the specific data with an applied filter then you can opt for it the format what you need to do here is table name slash column name equals the value so my table name is financials slash my column name is country and i would like to use an odata filter eq and in the single quote i'll call in the name of the country i add a space so it's financials is my table name slash country is my column name with an equal to symbol and the value this is also a case sensitive field so if you have the country c capital in your column name make sure you use the same let me save this and let me test the field let me click on test i like to test it manually test and let me run the flow now if you remember we have included the hidden pages and we do have applied an additional filter for the country canada only so let's wait for the flow to get completed and let's take a look at the pdf what we are getting in the email you can see that the flow ran successfully let me go to the email select the latest email and open the pdf and take a look if you notice the country here was previously displaying all the values but since we applied the filter only to canada this visual automatically gets filtered to canada similarly if you scroll down you can see that at the top the name of the data set which is converted it's the sales data of canada and even the below graph respond to this filter as you remember if you scroll down you have this hidden page as well because we included that flag as true in the power automate flow now let me get back to the power automate flow and show you the additional customizations what we can do in here next option what we have here in this connector is to export a specific page if required consider we do have three pages here one is hidden where rest of the two pages are visible so if you want to export only this page excluding this there is an option to do that as well so what you need to do you need to copy this url at the top open in a notepad so that i can explain you the items on that url let me remove the existing content and paste the new one so this is the url what we have copied if you notice here the url contains a group followed by a group id report followed by a report id and next comes the report name it's not that the power bi just uses the page 2 as report name this is the id which refers to that page name so just copy this id go to the power automate flow and paste it in the column which says pages of page name 1 if you want to export additional pages consider you have a power bi report with 10 pages and you want to export only two pages what you can do is you can add a new item and specify the page 2 name here so if you go to the sales data i'll like to go to the page 1 and i'll copy the id from directly in the url bar so let me copy the report page id go to the power automate flow and then mention that page in the page name 2 now if you export this you will get a pdf file with these two pages where the filter is applied to country canada let me test it let's wait for the flow to get ran successfully and let's go to their email and take a look our flow ran successfully so let me go to the email go to the latest email what we have received and preview the email so that you will be able to understand the process now if you see the page order has changed based on the report page and id what we have configured in the power automate flow so the first is sales data of canada and the second is tabular view if you remember in our uh, connector we have make sure to include the hidden pages but the additional page filter what we have given excludes that page name hence this 
include hidden pages yes is overridden by this pages concept so one additional option what i would like to show you here is how to implement this row level security while exporting this data if you scroll down you will find a section which says identity username identity data set one and identity role name one so this is the three input what you need to fill in to implement the row level security so the first input is the username one so you can just type in the name of the user who's going to get this email this can be passed in as a dynamic content as well the additional the second item is the data set id so let's go back to the report go to the workspace where your report is hosted and look out for the data set the semantic model of that report if you see here this is the report and this is the semantic model so i would like to select the semantic model and i'll copy the id which is the data set id you will be able to see that id next to data sets slash so copy this go to the power automate and paste the data set id if you come down the final input what you need to give is the role name so role name is nothing but whatever you configured here make sure this is a case sensitive so it's vtt so let me go back to the power automate flow and type vtt now once if you save this and run this flow let's see the output in action you can see that the flow ran successfully so let me go to the email let's close the previous attachments what we have opened go to the latest email and click preview of this item to see the data previously here we see all the products for canada now since we have that row level security applied to vtt only this is only extracting vtt if you scroll down you will see the same in the country section we have applied an explicit filter which is country equal to canada and in the row level security we have applied an explicit filter where we have the product is vtt hence the exported pdf this responds to both the filter country and the product and this is your output by this we come to end of this video in this video we have understood how to create a power automate flow to export a specific or all the complete pages available in a published power bi report here you have a privilege to apply an additional filter look out for a specific bookmark or even you can export the data with respect to the rls applied in the report if you have any questions please post it in the comment section and we will be happy to help thanks for watching subscribe our channel hit the like button and Press the bell icon for our new video alerts.